Greetings and welcome. My name is Tom Noonan. I'm president of Bishop Fenwick, and I'm so excited to show you our campus. In fact, I'm even more excited to share with you our community. We want to give you a real sense of the Fenwick experience, an authentic feel for the Fenwick family, a family we hope you're going to join. So as you see our spaces and listen to our students on this tour, the only kind of tour we can offer you right now, I invite you to envision your high school experience. I invite you to see it not about surviving, but about thriving. Be positive, be hopeful. Come join that kind of positive, hopeful spirit here at Fenwick. You know, I asked our seniors the other day, what would you wish for the parents of our incoming ninth graders? And one of our seniors wrote this, I hope your sons and daughters find their place. That's exactly what we hope for each and every one of you. So check out our place, and we hope it's soon gonna become your place. When you say Fenwick family, I think of the tight knit like community that we have and like how it's like everyone's there for each other. You feel like you're at home. Uh, when I think of Fenwick family, the first thing that I think about is the sports teams. We're all together, we're all working for a common goal. We're all in this together and we're all there for each other. If I'm at the grocery store or something and I'd see like a teacher, I'd still say like hi and like be so excited to see them. I felt welcome right off the bat. All the upperclassmen treated us like their friends. Even when I shadowed, the kids that my shadow sat with immediately welcomed me in to sit with them. My shadow I had, she has become my best friend over the last, she just graduated for the last three years, me and her have gotten really close and now I can call her one of my best friends. I think of all the amazing people that I met and all my friends that I'll have for the rest of my life. I definitely think I'm very prepared for college, especially with my writing. My writing has grown so much throughout like the last three years, and I think it can only get better. And I have a lot of friends who went to Fenwick who um, are doing well in college, and they said Fenwick really helped them. I've gotten to do a lot of college programs. I've gotten to see a lot of different college options for me because I decided to come here, and that makes my mom really happy because it's not only was it a really good high school, but it's also preparing me for my future. Freshman year biology without a doubt, it was the hardest class that I've taken in this school. I didn't take a history my freshman year, so to go from taking no history to jump into an AP course was pretty difficult, but my friend, like my upperclassmen friends that had taken the course before really helped me because they would give me tips and pointers on like things that I should do and things that I shouldn't do. Last year with Miss Holmum, we read The Scarlet Letter and I found the themes in that book really interesting. What was one theme? Um, finding hope in darkness. The teachers legitimately care that you're doing well. They really want you to succeed and they want to help. In any single way they can, they will help. She's there for extra help every single day, so you just tell her that you're gonna stay and you know, she'll stay with you no matter how long you need it. Coach Dugan, if he needed any help, like come to him and then it was one day I went to him after school and he helped me with like a big project that I had to do. So like, he's a mentor to me. The teachers are kind. They're smart. Dedicated. Helpful. Understanding. Committed. Driven. Passionate. Intelligent. And interactive. I really built a relationship with Ms. Timpson, my Spanish teacher from last year. He comes up with these like really creative ways to teach, and one of the things he did this year, he called it speed dating, where we were all dressed up as like uh, kings and queens from England and stuff like that, and we all like had to sit at tables across from one another, and we had to just talk as if we were that person. So I think that was really a creative way to kind of look at the subject. Miss uh, Foley had us do a project that we had to do something kind for someone, like out in the world, we had to write like a paragraph about it. So uh, my family actually does adaptive lacrosse program. My mom, my mom runs it, so I uh, volunteered there for a couple of weeks. My theology teacher, Mr. Caniff, was great the whole entire year. There were some people that had never taken theology before, and he really like went back to basics and helped them understand. Madonna Roman, <laughs> she took me under her wing, and she really got me um, involved in the school.
I just love the fact that around Fenwick, there's just always an art in every corner. Art is an abstract idea and you can create your own. And I really liked it because the teacher was very passionate, everyone else really liked it and everyone was supportive. I remember painting a picture and it was a whole new technique that the teacher had taught us and I was not picking it up very well and I was a freshman and I didn't have a lot of friends in my art class and this girl who was sitting next to me was an amazing artist and she still is. She's won so many awards from through Fenwick about art, it's just incredible. And she taught me how to correctly do the technique and we became very close friends and we're still close friends now. So art really helped me connect to people and um, create relationships as a freshman. When I got to high school I was like I'm not going to join the theater. But now I've been in it, this is my senior year, I'll definitely be in the theater again so that's four years. It's worth it. Everybody loves each other. Um, I mean, we support each other no matter what. If you do something bad on stage, they're not going to make fun of you when you get back. They're going to tell you it's okay, you know, just keep going. This past year I was in Freaky Friday and I was the gym teacher, which was a really big role for me because it was my first solo. The director, Dr. Tropriano, she like works with us so much to get it like to perfection and it just turned out amazing. Being involved in the Fenwick Athletics, it kind of makes you feel, you know, involved in the community and you're one with the community. I feel like it like, means something more to play for your school because it's not like you're not just playing for you or your team, you're playing for like the entire school community. So I represent the teachers, the faculty, the students, and the building as a whole in the name, so it's really important to me. Even though I may have my last name on the back of my jersey, the name on the front of the jersey is way more important than the one on the back. A lesson that I've learned while playing hockey is that hard work is the key to success in everything in life. If you put in the work, you will be uh, rewarded with the results. My favorite memory in the gym would be one of the playoff games. There was still so much energy and like the vibe that was given off was like incredible. Before all the games, you know, I'll come out and sing the national anthem and I think looking out and seeing all the people here that come to watch the games and how the student body comes together shows you how the community here at Fenwick is just something that doesn't really compare to anywhere else. Well last season for football we actually made it the Super Bowl at Gillette Stadium and it was pretty surreal being just on the stadium like where Tom Brady plays and the iconic Patriots. For track, Miss Holman was like my main coach for the hurdles. She really like pushed me because like sometimes at practice like I never was interested in hurdles before and she told me she's like just give it a try like and then at practice if I got frustrated she'd always be there to be like no like keep going you got it and she really just believed in like everyone that played for her. Yeah so my track coach, um, Coach Nardone, he always believes in me even if I don't believe in myself. Uh, so my freshman year uh, we had a tough run to the playoffs but we ended up doing it and we were all together and I remember uh, sitting there on the way to the first game in the bus as a team you know getting ready for the game and we were like yeah we did this you know we're, we worked hard for this and it was really like a sense of like we're all in this together. So it's like you honestly really do have to work together as a team and like you all go to, you all win together you all lose together. I think the best kept secret is that all the land we have back there and how like beautiful it is like all the baseball fields and even brand new football field like it's a lot nicer than people think and that's Pictures don't do it justice. Sometimes you just have to see it in person. If you go up there, especially at sunset, it's a great view, Crusader Hill. We're all tired, but once, once we greet each other, you know, we get good energy, and then we walk in the locker room, and we're ready to go. But then, especially after school, a lot of our practices are out by the fields in the back, and so when we go to the trainer in the Leduke Center, and then we're walking back, we see all of our friends, which is nice before we go to practice. And then also on our way back, all of the practices are ending, so we all see each other right in the parking lot. Even after I come back from practice and it's sun's down, there's still plenty of people here. Teachers still willing to help, do your homework. There's at least some people always in the school. My favorite place is probably the parking lot, which sounds weird. I always used to go to my friend's car before school, and we used to have like bagels and just hang out before the school day started. Well, I think like as a freshman, I wasn't really used to like hanging around the building after school. So as a freshman, I would always get picked up right away. But uh, like throughout the year, I kind of realized that all the teachers hang around like a lot longer than I thought. So if you ever need like extra help and you don't want to come before school, I think like going after school was something that I found that helped me a lot.
My favorite theology class had to be sophomore year. I had Father Benetti, and I loved his class because people, like especially like teenagers, were like, "Well, why are we learning this? Why do I have to do this?" And I love that he could he would connect everything back to how it would help us in the real world. And one topic that really stuck with me was the infinite desire. And basically, all that is is that like. Humans will never genuinely be fulfilled by any materialistic thing, and that like a person will only genuinely fully be at their most happiest when they have like a connection to God in their life. I was nervous about theology this year, like coming from public school and never taking it before, but it ended up being one of my favorite classes. It really was nothing to worry about. Miss Hart, she's an English teacher.、Um, she's always just so happy, and she always like told me like if something's tough, just pray and get through it. And, uh, bring a, a happier time. When we all pray together as a school, as a community, in the morning, like when we say the prayer, the all school masses, it resets the week and the month almost because it kind of like settles you down and you get to sit in mass and listen and like kind of be at peace for a little bit during the day. When I was very sick, Fenwick held a mass for me, a prayer service. And this room, the sacred space, was filled with people and teachers and students and faculty members. And even though I wasn't there physically, I was there spiritually. And it was before my major surgery, and that made me feel a lot more comfortable and put my mind at ease before going into surgery. It just shows how strong of a community we are at Fenwick and how faith is so important to all of us. Fenwick is full of so many different types of people, and you're bound to find somebody who is very similar to you, but at the same time challenges you and makes you a better person. Try to be outgoing, branch out a little bit, try new things, and don't be afraid to like mess up because everyone's in the same boat and they're trying something new. So just try to be yourself, and that's like the biggest advice I can give. Find your place at Fenwick. 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 Find your place. At Fenwick.